Corporate Animals, which is in theaters and on demand September 20th. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. For anyone who doesn't know, tell them what it's about and who you play. The film is about a corporate, like, team building retreat that goes uh, on a caving expedition. And I play the guide, uh, the cave, caving, you know. The cave master. The cave master, yeah. exactly. <laughs> These are all technical um, terms. <laughs> yeah, sort of like the Bear grills of the, yes. uh, uh, you know, I have the team building company that, that takes them into the cave. There is a uh, cave in and everyone is stuck. And it is, it's basically Dunder Mifflin it, turning into Lord of the Flies. Yeah. Like, that's what, that's sort of the vibe. And it's incredibly twisted. It gets super dark. It does. In the most fun, ridiculous way. Uh, and I'm super proud of it. It's, it's my idea of absolute hell. Have either of you ever been in a situation like that where you're stuck somewhere? I... Yes. Go on. Very close to here, as a matter of fact. Where? The Grove Shopping Center. <laughs> First of all, I am, I. How'd you I, get stuck at the Grove? I'll tell you. I, That's an open air. You would mall. think. Okay. You would think. And I am claustrophobic. Like, I, I, I don't really, I, I can move through the world, no problem. And I can ride elevators. But if they get stuck, I, like, the cortisol, the adrenaline, I just can't, like, I can't control this, like, overwhelming fear. So I was in the, elevator of the parking deck at the Grove, which is a glass elevator. Uh, it's, it, it, I get in on the ground floor, doors close, and nothing happens. And now, <laughs> it's a glass elevator right next to the walkway into the parking deck. Hundreds of people are walking by. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and there's a, like a soccer mom with two young kids and like some like millennial hipster guy like also in the elevator with me. Right. <laughs> And everybody's like, oh, man, what's going on? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm panicking, but then I'm also thinking, like, they really, we really can't have, like, that guy from The Hangover melting down... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah. In, literally in a fishbowl yes. in, like, one of the most populated areas of Los Angeles. For sure. And, uh, and uh, like... All this time goes by, I'm, I'm getting more and more freaked out, but I'm keeping it together. Like, I'm keeping up appearances. It certainly sounds like you're holding it together, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like I'm, I'm like, I'm sweating. I? Internally, I'm freaking out. Everyone else is so calm. And then finally, a guy comes and he just pries the door. I mean, apparently, you can just pull those things apart. I thought you couldn't do that, but he has some Have tool. You tried? We, we had actually okay. a little bit, but yeah. this guy had a tool and he just yanks the whole thing apart. And we get out. And I was like, oh my God. But to the guy, I was like, oh, how, how long were we, were we in there? Yeah. And he was like, um, well, I got the call, uh, the emergency call about six minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I had seen like my entire life flash before my eyes seven times. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway. Brutal. Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Yes, I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to? Uh, June. Oh. oh, here we go. I'm listening. Okay. Do you think that if you were ever uh, lost inside of some kind of a mythical maze uh, that was created by uh, a simulative culture that had a technology that made you believe that you were inside of the maze, do you think that you would just proceed to find the center of the maze, or would you just remove the headset and say, um, enough of this? <laughs> Thank you for asking that. Um, you know, I've been in virtual reality a number of times. I like it there. So I think I maybe even prefer it there on some days. So I think I would, I think I'd spend a little time trying to figure out how to get on, get out from the inside. Man, that's exactly correct. It's absolutely it's right. correct. Please thank our brilliant guests, June Dan Raphael, Ed Helms, 